Welcome to the next episode of Tattoos and Toddlers. Uh, Today, I just had to pop on here because my schedule just keeps changing even when I least expect it. Like it's one of those things where you're like, you want to go get a taco, right? You want to go get a taco. You leave your garage. Your car sounded kind of funny when it started, but you weren't sure. You get to the destination and your car starts clicking and it won't turn on. And I'm thinking to myself, I've had more than enough of experience of broken down cars and both new and old. Um, I've had a variety of things happen to me with vehicles. So I thought to myself, well, I don't know if the battery is dead or if it's a starter, you know, like I've heard the starters go out. That's pretty, pretty apparent sometimes when a starter goes out. But so I thought to myself, what's nearby? This was my neighborhood. There's a, there's happens to be a mechanic nearby. And I think it was, you know, me kind of doubting myself when I heard that inner voice say, maybe you shouldn't go anywhere because something could, you know, your engine kind of didn't sound right, but I wasn't sure. And I didn't stop long enough to like convince myself to stay home. Right. Mind you, I'm, I have 30 to 40 minutes before my next podcast interview that was supposed to happen today. And I was like, it'll be fine. I'll do, I do this all the time. I go make a last minute run. This is what I do. I talk about it all the time, how we do things last minute, and then we make it all happen and it all comes out amazing. So today's story is a different kind of amazing. Um, Even though I had to reschedule the interview, I, I got a brief glimpse of what it's like to be stranded in this kind of heat, right? This is not, this is not your everyday kind of a heat. And I mean, it is like, According to my computer right here in front of me, it says 102 currently. This is in my neighborhood, right? So once your car is dead, there's there's nothing. It nothing but heat immediately. It is there is no in between. You could have the coldest car in the world, and as soon as your car is off, it is hot. So I thought to myself, well, I have the Walgreens in front of me, which has got air conditioning if I needed a safe space. I have the mechanic down the parking lot, but basically I am in the parking lot with the mechanic. I'm just kind of standing far away from him. So I call him up. This is a, this is a mechanic. I've, I, we've gone there in the past. I mean, we've lived in this neighborhood for over 23 years and I've been there at least several times and, but it's been a long time. So I call up the shop and there's, they send a mechanic over and the guy puts the thing on my battery to uh, start the car. I mean, the the car starts after he puts the battery charger thing on it. Um, And he says, okay, now that it's running, let's drive it over to the shop. And I was like, cool, never done this before. This is awesome. Like, it's like a little portable battery generator. And um, so I pulled up in the back and he starts running these little tests on it as they usually do. If your battery's going bad, they can tell you pretty much almost immediately if it's a bad battery or if it's dead um, or not holding any charge anymore. Again, I've I've seen this happen. I've seen it happen to my friends. I've seen it happen to myself. You know, the extreme weather conditions that we have, you just never know, even, even though my car is fairly new-ish. So anyway, he runs everything that he knows that he could check. And he says, there's nothing wrong with it. And I was like, then why did it click? <laughs> I mean, why was it clicking and dead? Um... He kind of smiled and he says, well, you know, was there maybe a light left on in the car? And I'm just like, at at no point in my life have, especially in this vehicle that I've had for, I feel like a few years now, I usually check for lights, you know? And I think the only thing I didn't check for is when I drop my kid off in the car line, they don't always shut the door a hundred percent. Like I'm I'm used to the bells and whistles going off for the seatbelt, but Um, I have yet to see a light beyond because of the door being open. Right. So, but it was fine this morning. And then as I got in the the garage to kind of like make a quick run, I was like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of starting slower, but I thought I was just hearing things, you know, get over there. The guy's like, it's perfectly fine and ran the tests on it. And he, we started it and restarted it probably about five or six times with and without the little charger on it. And he says, okay, let's do it one more time with you in the car, just to be sure I don't send you home 
with a problem or whatever. And I was like, I thank you so much, you know, and he's just smiling the whole time. He says, I'm going to, you know, I'm glad I could make your day. (laughs) And he says, I just want to be sure that you're safe. I felt like he was looking out for me, you know, being that it was so hot being that, you know, how do I know what's going on with the car? It's, it's wild. It was wild to me. So anyway, I'm done by like two Oh nine. Like we're talking about, I still had time to get home and try to squeeze in an interview. And then, you know, it, it, it just, it's not working out. So I thought I'd just hop on here and just talk to talk to you about the story. I don't have any issues just talking to myself, especially if is this an interesting story like this. So I started for the last time before I leave. And I, I just told my husband, I'm going to go straight home and stay home. Cause I really don't want, I don't want to take the chance to get potentially stranded. Cause like once it happens, you're questioning everything, right? You're questioning every move. You're questioning every light. You're questioning if you missed something. And I think this is very similar to life and parenting. You're like, when something comes up and you feel like you should have listened to something and then not done something potentially, or you just kind of go do the thing anyway, and you find a way out of the scenario that is beneficial for everyone. Like you don't get hurt. You don't, you don't have anything bad happen to you, but it is an opportunity, right? To like meet a new person or say hello to somebody or give somebody a tip because they just cleaned up your battery and you have no idea what happened, but now your car is fine. (laughs) So all that to say is hot out there and I recognized within five minutes of how brutal this heat can be for somebody stranded outside. And I I can't only imagine. So if you're listening out there and you second guess that little voice or that little inkling, um, take the time to assess. Maybe what you're seeing and feeling is correct and that you should not do the thing you're, you're heading off to do. Or you should go do the thing and then, you know, you still have to deal with all the consequences after that decision. So um, just a really great reminder of decisions that we make, the intuitions that come to us, the little small still voices that kind of talk to you every once in a while to guide you into places of safety and joy and love sometimes. So I'm thankful that I had a really great supportive mechanic help me out today and that I'm back home safe and that I could be here with y'all today and just share a parenting slash business slash life moment because I think even with learning parenting and, and everything that's going on we have opportunities to make little choices that you know we either listen to our voices listen to the little voice or we ignore it and keep doing the same little things we do we usually do so I'm excited to to be home and just very thankful that everything's okay. Everything's okay in this moment right now. I'm here with you. My family's okay. And I will talk to you very soon. I know this is a very simple and quick tattoos and toddler story, but I think it's important to be in the moment, which this whole podcast is about being in the moment with real life scenarios and the things that we walk through to get to where we're going. All right. So y'all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon on the next episode of Tattoos and Toddlers. This is Jen with Weirdo Weddings Photography signing out. Bye.